There's a fish right there. Same right here. See that big red moving closer to the boat? He's 10 feet in front of the boat. There's lots of misconceptions centered around this great sport we call fishing. For instance, barometric pressure, frontal system, sound. <laughs> you know, it just goes on and on. Take today, for instance. You know, uh oh, hang on. Let me see if I can catch this fish. Good fish right there. On the... Oh, it's strong. He does not want to show himself. He's on that side of the boat. Nice one. That's a fair little old fish. I caught him on a swim bait, a Bass Pro Shop swim bait, and a quarter ounce lead head. See that swim bait? Now, let me show you what I'm doing. We've got a front that just came through. You can see we got blue skies, just as far as you can see. High pressure day. The pressure right now is about 30.35. We've got a full moon. And we've got, basically, with all the misconceptions that you hear, uh, it's not a real good day for fishing. High pressure, full moon, and a north breezy wind predicted today. Now, what we're doing, you've heard of all these things about your graph. Uh, the ping, ding, 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 ding. Uh, I've got this unit on right here. The transducer for it is mounted on the transom of my boat, and it's sending or pinging out a signal at the rate of about 4,800 feet per second. We're following a four to five foot contour. Now, on the bow, I've got another unit with two transducers. I've got a built-in transducer in the head of that trolling motor that you can't see. But I've also, if you'll look right above on the shaft, there's another transducer. Well, that's my panoptics transducer right here. So it's sending a signal. The one in the head of the trolling motor is sending a signal. So that's my traditional sonar unit sending a signal. The panoptics is shooting a signal out at, at 30 degrees. Traditional sonar is on the left of the screen, shooting directly down, and Panoptic's live view is on the right of the screen. We've got the ping of the sonars, the pressure waves from the boat, and the sound of the trolling motor prop, all going directly over the top of the fish. And when you think about it, all of this is working against us. So my point is, what I'm doing, these fish, are on about a four to five foot contour. So what I'm doing, I'm just following, I'm taking this Bass Pro swim bait and this quarter ounce grub, and, I, and I'm taking it just like this, look. I'm throwing it right out behind the boat. Letting it go down to the bottom in about four feet, peeling off a little bit of line. All right, once it hits the bottom, I'm hitting the trolling motor and what I want to do is try to stay on about a four to five foot contour. See, I'm right out here, I'm right on it right now. Three nine. And that's where I'm gonna to try to keep the boat. Now, when I do, I'm, I wanna look straight out what's in front of me. And then I'll go to live view forward on and I've got that, it's reaching out here about 70 feet. Yep. That's my pan optics. So I've got this unit working with uh, two units. If you look right here, 
on the lower unit on my I've got the fan optics unit mounted on the motor guide shaft and it's shooting at a 30 degree angle and then on the lower unit of the trolling motor built in is another transducer that works the uh, traditional sonar so pan optics when I drop this back in the water and I hit the foot control it's shooting back toward the bank behind me but when I hit this when I hit this pedal right here you the arrow you can watch as I turn it it scans out right in front of the boat. Now, I can see everything out in front of me. Now, we passed over a couple of others just a second or two ago. Actually, that's two fish that are dropping to the bottom at five feet. But my point is, all this controversy that you hear about the trolling motors, the ping, ding, 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 going over the top of fish, is spooks fish. I've never believed that. And I, right now, I've got three units going right now. I've got the dash. I've got this one in the bow. I've got three units going ding, 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 ding right now. And I'm catching fish just almost under the boat. Hey, see that big red spot moving closer to the boat? He's about 10 feet out. Now he's about 6 feet. Of course, we're moving at each other. Uh-oh, now he went under the boat. And let me tell you, I got a good chance of catching him. There he is. Wee. Come here, Junior. I caught him on a swim bait, a Bass Pro Shop swim bait, and a quarter ounce lead head. The fish was in three and a half to four feet of water. The boat went right over the top of him with the trolling motor running and three depth finders or three transducers going bing, 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 bing. Pan Optics is a remarkable piece of electronics. It provides real time sonar at video speed and it tracks schools of fish moving around your boat even while stationary.